What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Walter Tuomi, once again bringing you another video. But this time, on a different note, the last video I brought you in regards to cybersecurity, taking the CompTIA Security Plus exam, I had failed it. And I'd failed it by, I would say, a relatively large margin, about 100 points, right? Well, I recently took it again for the second time, and we had a different result. The different result was that I passed it. Now, I passed it by 10 points over the allowable limit, which is 750, so I passed it by 761. There are some takeaways. The last video I made was more of like what to expect, what kind of mindset you should go into the test with, and that still doesn't change. If you saw that video, uh, let me link it right here, but either way, let me tell you that is still the mindset that I went into this exam with. The only thing I made a change was I actually scheduled the test for a little bit later in the day, being that my circumstances might be a little bit different from yours. I wanted to make sure that I got even more rest and actually had more time to prep before I took it. The last time I took it was at nine o'clock in the morning. This time I took it at 1.30 in the afternoon. And that obviously, I could, I could go on and say that this is obviously the thing that worked, right? Well, it just, I'm just telling you what I did from my experience, right? You, everybody has a, a desired taste and a desired time and aspect and a different functionality toward their life and their lifestyle. And everybody is different. So I don't want to say that what I'm doing is the right way. What I can tell you that I did is more than likely what enabled me to pass. So one thing you're going to find out is that everybody that takes the test that thinks that they passed fails the test. Anybody that takes a test and feels like they failed passes. No different on this. In the first test, I knew I passed. I knew I failed it actually. I, it was kind of I knew I failed it the moment that I was like 15 questions in, maybe even 10 questions, I think. This one, about 20 questions in, and with a little bit more knowledge on, and a little bit more strategy on how to take the actual questions, like the regular styled questions, the multiple choice, I wanted to make sure that I ran through them quicker this time. And I did that, and that actually benefited me a lot more. But also... I was more knowledgeable because I did have another month and a half to study, right? So I did not use that time sparingly. I made sure that I got right back on it, went straight to studying, grinded down, focused more, learned more, and put more emphasis on PBQs. But also I took a lot more information from the port numbers. Like the port numbers, the port numbers are generally more toward the beginning, uh, like the PBQs. So that's when you're going to be essentially using those. You might get one or two trickled in throughout the multiple choice portion of it, but I would say the same thing holds up. I really only got them in the PBQs. And that actually paid off. Paid off pretty good. I would say that, the, I mean, you're going to be using the standard port number 80, 443, 21, 22, 67, stuff like that. You're going to be using those ones. Nothing else really stood out to mind uh, as far as what I needed to do differently. But the other thing, I mean, the only thing I could say was like physically, what I did physically besides getting more sleep was I took a cold shower before the test. Like right when I woke up, essentially I wanted to get my brain functioning. I wanted to get the synapses starting. I wanted to make sure that I had the dopamine flowing, which doing ice baths tend to do that. And I don't have an ice bath. So the closest thing that I was able to do was do a super cold shower. I mean, I literally turned the knob all the way to the coldest setting in the shower and I didn't feel it with my hand. I just jumped right in, stuck it in there for about five minutes and then jumped out. I mean, that's really what I did. And then obviously I had more time to have my coffee and I drink a lot of coffee. So 
those are really the physical things that I changed. The mental portion was, of course, I, I got right to studying. And I knew within two weeks that I was more knowledgeable going into this second one than I was in the first one because I knew more or less what I had to pay attention to. In the first one, you don't you don't have any kind of knowledge to to really go off of. People are telling you everything that you should focus on, but really you won't really know until after you take it what you really need to focus on. Because a lot of the questions that I got asked in the second some of them were in the first one. I don't want to say like it's a maybe it is. I don't maybe it is a procedurally generated test. If there is some kind of information somewhere that says that that's what it is, I believe it because I did get some of the same questions and some different. At first, I thought there was versions, but I don't think that anymore. I think it's more procedurally generated. I, I hope CompTIA doesn't come at me for that. If I do, well, I will delete this part of the video. <laughs> um, but it was a much more relaxing feeling this time around. Like I was my defenses weren't up. I knew what to expect. I had enough rest. I had enough coffee. I took my cold shower. I studied more. I really pinpointed the stuff that I was studying. So as far as strats, let me just break it down. All right. So let's get to the point. Let's get to the nitty gritty, as they say. This is what I did, really, essentially, was did a lot of flashcards, not just flashcards online. I made my own physical flashcards and I posted them throughout my house in random locations that I frequented, like the kitchen, the coffee machine, the refrigerator, refrigerator, the bathroom, the mirrors. And I made sure to also post them on notes on my iPhone so that I would constantly drill them and go over them. I mean, I knew them like the back of my hands. I knew everything that I that I was studying for. The, like two days prior, I was already getting tired of drilling it because I had done it so much, obviously, for about four months. But in this last month and a half, in between tests, I was really grinding that down into, you know, a fine sword, I guess you could say, <laughs> as as many uh, metaphors as I can really state, that's pretty much what I was doing. And that's essentially with any test that you've ever taken, right? But no, this one's a little bit different because you have a lot more writing on it, such as the freaking price of the test. Nobody wants to be caught up in having to pay another $400 to retake. So yeah, get out of here with that. I made sure that I took every precaution to go into this one and be prepared. Matter of fact, I think I over-prepared and that's a good thing. Uh, it's a good thing to be over-prepared for an exam like this. And then of course the actual physical aspect, right? The physical aspect was, I said that before, get enough sleep, but I really stand by that. If you can try to schedule the test on a day that you will be able to take it later on in the day so that you can go there with a bit more fresher mind, having smelled the day do, having seen everything that the day is going to bring, being more prepared, being a bit more awake. Also, having more time to kind of justify taking maybe an energy drink. I don't drink energy drinks, but if you do, well, you know, do what you have to do because... This exam is important. It's it's hard and you need to have your rest. You need to be on your P's and Q's and you don't want to have to pay for it. I mean, unless you're financially equipped enough to be able to say like, eh, I could fail a thousand more times, seven more times, whatever, you know, I'm exaggerating. But unless you're that person, well, take every precaution that you can and also just study, 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 but also make sure. Make sure you're drilling everything that you can. Go to Cybercraft, learn the PBQs. That dude is essential, I want to say, in having to... If you have to pull that information and you don't have the CompTIA website... Uh, if you don't have the CompTIA resources, like the actual legitimate resources, then Cybercraft can provide some of that for you and also break those down. 
and I mean, it's, it's effective, right? It's effective learning and also make sure that you eat, right? Make sure that you eat and also don't go into the test. If you think that you are going to have to use the restroom, definitely do it before you get in there. I would squeeze out whatever you can before you start the test. Like, even if you feel like you don't have to just do it, just be there as comfortable as Zen as possible. If there's a philosophy that I would say in between the test that I really took to heart was it's, it's corny, it's corny, it's cheesy, but whatever. I used it. It, it worked, right? <laughs> um, was the Japanese term Kaizen, right? Kaizen. It is essentially getting better inch by inch, centimeter by centimeter. Anything that you can do that's going to make you better every day. Doesn't matter how much you grow. Doesn't matter how much you already know. If you learned just one extra word that day, that is enough. That is enough to do to improve yourself and improve the knowledge that you have and strengthen the foundation of what you already know going in to any exam or formidable fight maybe that you need to prepare for. That is the mentality, the state of mind that I went into it with. You want to actually be physically and mentally equipped going in there. So that's all I can say. If you guys have been watching, thank you. I will provide more videos and more information on where you should go to practice studying, such as like, you know, Cybercraft on his YouTube channel, Professor Messer, of course, and anywhere else that you can actually get CompTIA resources from. Those are definitely, definitely valuable. Bonus tip, exam compass. I've said it before. Take every single one of those tests as, as long as you can generally stay at an 80% or higher, you're ready. Trust me, you're ready. At that point, you're ready. Like there is no, you didn't study enough. You studied enough and you know enough. In my opinion, that's what you want to do. So yeah, thank you guys for staying here. Thank you for going on this journey with me. I still have more journey to go, right? Now I have to get the job as they say. So 